SAFM, South Africa's news and information leader. Thank you, Nancy. Top stories at the Sawa Afri Forum describes its victory against Malema and South Africa's employment conditions remain weak. Good afternoon. Minority rights lobby group Afri Forum has described its victory against ANC Youth League leader Julius Malema as a victory for South Africa. The group won its civil case in the Equality Court. Judge Colin Lamont ruled that the words Dubula Ibunu or kill the boar constituted hate speech and have no place in a democratic South Africa. Afri Forum says it feels vindicated. Spokesperson Kale Creel. This is not simply just a victory uh, or can be simplified as a victory of Afri Forum over Julius Malema. This is a victory for the concept of mutual respect and recognition amongst communities over the culture of disrespect that Julius Malema is sowing in our country. And it's also a victory for justice over injustice. So our message to Julius Malema is um, let's unite the country, um, stop using this, abide by the court's ruling. Scores of ANC Youth League supporters have already violated the Equality Court order that banning the singing of the words Dubula Ipunu, which translates to kill the boar. They started singing the song outside the court shortly after Judge Colin Lamont found that the words constituted hate speech. Edwin Ntidi is outside the court. Defiant Malema supporters continue singing doubly bony despite the court's ruling. They also sang insulting songs directed at the DA leader, Helen Zeller. Malema supporters are still singing outside the courtyard. Earlier, ANC Youth League leaders emerged from the court and addressed members of the press and their supporters. They say they will study the judgment thoroughly, adding that they will also consult their legal minds. They further say the court has part. They said us say the court has banned many freedom songs. They maintain that Dubuli Bunu is a freedom song and does not constitute hate speech. Edwin in City. SABC News, outside the South Houghton High Court, Johannesburg. The ANC has declined to comment on Youth League leader Julius Malema's failure to appear in court for the judgment in his hate speech trial. ANC spokesperson Keith Corza said the party did not know why Malema was not in court. The ANC's disciplinary panel yesterday agreed to postpone Malema's hearing on charges of dividing the party and bringing it into disrepute. Disciplinary hearing chairman Derek Hanekom said yesterday the panel had agreed to a request that Malema not appear before it today because of the hate speech judgment. A small group gathered outside the court in support of the embattled youth leader. The National Prosecuting Authority says it will decide next Tuesday whether to withdraw charges against an accused in the Annie Diwani murder. Kolil Mgeni has undergone brain surgery for a malignant tumor and is receiving treatment. Mgeni and co-accused Mziwama Dota Kwabe allegedly murdered Diwani in Kailija in November last year. Western Cape NPA head Rodney de Kock. On the 20th of, of September... Uh, we will deal with all the issues relating to the matter, including the behalf of any of the accused uh, that are before the court uh, currently. South Africa's employment conditions remain exceedingly weak, suggesting that the prospect of an improvement in permanent jobs is a long way off. This is according to the August ADCOP Employment Index released today. The August dip translates into an annual job loss rate of 49,306. Horisani Sitole has more. ADCOP says that one of the prime reasons for the nation's dismissal employment picture is that government is crowding out private sector participation in the economy. While overall employment declined by 2.1% in August, the fourth consecutive monthly decline, employment by government continued to rise by a notable 6.2%. ADCOP says the public sector now accounts for all the job creation in the economy for 2011. EdCorp has revealed that August employment declined most sharply in the manufacturing, mining and construction sectors. And finally, one person has been killed and another seriously injured when a fuel tank exploded at Mossel Bay in the Southern Cape. Police spokesperson Bernadine Stain says the men were dismantling the tank at a scrapyard when it exploded. She says the injured man has been rushed to hospital. This morning at about half past eight, an explosion occurred at a scrap yard in Mossel Bay. During this explosion, one person passed away on scene 
And another employee was taken to hospital with injuries. We have opened a couple of homicide cases for investigation.